The Florida Review is UCF's national and international literary magazine and it has been around for 40 plus years. And Aquifer is the new online literary and interdisciplinary art supplement to the print Florida Review. Some of the skills that I've learned in the Florida Review that can be applied outside the classroom is just general decisiveness, being confident in your decisions, obtaining the evidence and the support that you need to support your claim, and standing strong and standing by your original choice. I've been the editor since 2015, and even in that short period of time, I have just seen the impact that working on the magazine has had on a wide array of students. It's also taught me a lot about online publishing and the sort of new media tools that we're using today. Being part of the Florida Review really helped me to learn in a hands-on way about the editorial process rather than just reading, you know, this is what happens. You're part of doing it. I was recently appointed the first Poet Laureate of Orlando. Florida Review has been such an important magazine to writers not only from Florida, but uh, it has national status as well. Reaching readers and reaching new audiences for a small literary magazine has is always an issue, and it's always been an issue for the Florida Review. Of the last few years, the net of what is usually considered literary has widened, and that's something I appreciate. We're now publishing visual arts portfolios, we're pu publishing digital stories and other kinds of electronic stories, and soon we'll be publishing short film as well. And we can now also publish some of our graphic narratives in color, which is fantastic for us. We're moving kind of into the world of online publishing uh, and digital media, so it's our way of kind of breaking into that field. I hope for the Florida Review and the UCF community that it becomes um, more known to the UCF community even outside of the creative writing program. The main way that I hope the Florida Review affects the global community in the future is just by becoming continuously more diverse. I hope the Florida Review continues the way it always has, always looking for the new and always finding established writers as well as mid-career writers and brand new exciting writers that possibly have not been published before. Without literary nonprofits and artistic nonprofits, um, people's ideas would starve. Um, people would be writing only Hollywood blockbusters and um, those stories just don't cover the spectrum of people's experience in the world. I don't think the Florida Review is going to take care of this all by itself, but along with other publications of its type, um, we provide, I think, the, the soul of our culture.